Okay, we're gonna have a quick review on uh, rivets here. Uh, we had a piece of uh, trim from 1965, Alcourt Sunfish Wave. That this little rivet here had torn out from this deck edge seam underneath the trim. So this piece of trim was poking out. So we had an option. We could have gone back and pulled a lot of trim off and repaired that little deck edge, but there's not a leak there. So we chose just put a new rivet, new hole through the uh, deck hole seam just next to it. And uh, started by using a little metal drill bit, one eighth inch and drilled the hole and go slow because you just this u-shaped channel you just want to drill through the top edge and through the deck edge seam below it but not all the way through if you do happen to go all the way through it's it's okay you just need to take some sandpaper or a file and get rid of any burrs that are underneath there so next we had to fill out figure out which size rivet we need and we found this little aero kit that's uh, assorted rivets uh, works out well because we want a 1 8 inch diameter and all of these on this top row are 1 8 inch and then you need to look at the grip which is the depth how far down into the hole is it going so we've got some options a 1 8 inch 1 quarter 1 half and uh, we can um, check and see Normally, it's between one eighth and one quarter, so whatever that is. So today, use a little one eighth inch rivet. That's gonna grip just fine. And the little, um, little barrel on it set long. So it's going down and it's gripping that much. So that's almost all the way to the bottom of the seam. It's going to work well but not every boat's the same sometimes the trim's a little bit deeper or the seams maybe a little bit thicker and that adds up to where you might end up using a um, one quarter inch grip or one quarter inch depth so that's uh work you put it in there use the uh, riveter riveting gun this is my brother kirk's and uh, then you need to check and see which one of these nose pieces you need for this diameter of rivet. It's this little nose piece here, but you can see others are smaller and larger. And you've got a 3 16th on there that might come into play if you go if you have a boat that has combing rivets because they're a 3 16th inch diameter. And here's some of those... Uh, combing rivets there if you want a closed in rivet if you're doing your combing so water doesn't leak down through the rivet into the hole and i'm not sure when that changed 70s 80s on this 1965 boat before it before that time frame it had these i don't know if you can see through the bag if i got time to take them out well it's got a uh, it's got a rivet nut that is steel. So this part here, and you have to have a special rivet gun that screws down into this barrel. And when you pull it, this barrel compresses and uh, captures itself in a hole on the deck. Let's see what this, I got this gun over here somewhere. And that gun, uh, looks like this just the little screw that screws down into the uh, into that rivet nut pulls it and it's steel and it's those are hard to pull speaking of uh, steel we um, this assorted kit comes with aluminum and steel what we normally do as soon as we get it is we throw all the steel rivets away because we don't have anything we use steel rivets on aluminum trim one aluminum rivet on it so you don't get uh, galvanic corrosion going and also if you have to do a repair later those um, steel rivets are really hard to get out they just get rusty and look a mess so we get rid of them 
That's a quick review on rivets. Uh, if you search on our YouTube page, search rivets, there's a couple more that go into more detail. But uh, we're hoping maybe we can get uh, wave out today. So that's a quick repair. I think it took me longer to make this five minute and 15 second video than it did to actually do the repair. So hope y'all are doing great. That about does it.